The Usher Hall has long been the jewel in the crown of Edinburgh's music venues. It was financed by Andrew Usher, who made his fortune in the whisky trade. And the story goes that one day he walked into his friend's shop, his friend owned a jewellery shop on Princess Street, and basically said to him, I have so much money I don't know what to do with it. And from that came the idea of the Asher Hall. Two years later he died and the location hadn't even been decided on at that point. When it finally opened in 1914, it was used to recruit hundreds of young men for the First World War. Over the years, this auditorium has hosted a huge variety of events. Helen Duncan, the last woman to be convicted of witchcraft in Britain, hosted a séance here in 1933. And then, almost 40 years later, Eurovision came to the Usher Hall. Other musical talents to grace this stage were Johnny Cash, the Rolling Stones and Cliff Richard. And in 1991, a delighted Sir Sean Connery was presented with the Freedom of Edinburgh in front of a packed auditorium. In 1998, an £18 million refurbishment project began, combining Edwardian grandeur with 21st century sophistication. And today the hall continues to host an eclectic mix of events. Tonight's classical concert will be followed by a comedy tomorrow. When you come in, it's, it's, it's huge, but there's an intimacy to it. I think all the best venues in the world combine that kind of sense of scale with, with one of closeness to who's performing. It's just old. It's like, it's like a favourite favorite old uncle you always see when you come to town. It was Andrew Usher's dream to bring music to the people of Edinburgh. 100 years later, his legacy lives on. Jennifer Harold, STV News.